Let's try to solve these problems. Let's start with 1. 2x times the quantity negative 3x squared plus 6. We need to multiply a monomial by a binomial. So basically, we must apply the distributive property. So it means we can distribute the monomial to every term on the binomial. Or in other words, we can multiply this monomial to every term of the binomial. So doing that, Let's multiply 2x first by the first term, which is negative 3x squared. Then plus, again, multiply this 2x by the second term of the binomial, which is 6. And then we just need to perform this operation. So basically, we will just apply the law of exponent. So by the way, I already have a previous video about loss of exponents. So if you haven't watched it yet, I will just put the link on the description of this video so you can check it also. So we have 2x times negative 3x squared. So let's multiply first the constant. So 2 times negative 3, it's negative 6. And then multiply the variables, x times x squared. So we can just copy the same base x and then add the exponent. So this x has an exponent of 1. So if we add 1 plus 2, it is equal to... 3 plus 2x times 6 so again just multiply the constant first so 2 times 6 is 12 and then just affix the variable x so the final answer is negative 6x cubed plus 12x next we have negative 5xy times the quantity 6x cubed plus 4x squared y squared minus 4y to the fourth z so this time we're multiplying a monomial by a trinomial so we can apply the distributive property again. So we can multiply this negative 5xy to every term of the trinomial. So let's start multiplying it by the first term. So 6x cubed plus, again, multiply this negative 5xy times the second term 4x squared y squared. Then finally, multiply this negative 5xy by the third term, which is negative 4y to the fourth z. So we just need to multiply each of the terms. So let's start with the first term. Let's multiply the constant. Negative 5 times 6, it's negative 30. For the variable, we can multiply x times x cubed first. So it's x to the fourth. Then just copy the y. Next, for the second term, let's multiply the constants. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Then for the variables, let's multiply first the x. x times x squared, it's x cubed. For the y, we have y times y squared, it's y cubed. Finally, multiply the third term. So, negative 5 times negative 4, it's positive 20. Then, uh, we just need to copy the x. It's a unique factor. We can multiply the y. So, y times y to the fourth, it's y to the fifth. And also, we can just copy the z. It's just a unique factor. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Finally, we have negative xy squared z times the quantity 4xyz squared minus x squared yz. So this time we're multiplying a monomial by a binomial. So again, we can apply the distributive property. So let's multiply negative xy squared z by the first term, 4xyz squared. Then multiply again negative xy squared z times the second term, which is negative x squared yz. So let's just multiply every term. So for the first term, we can multiply first the coefficients. So this negative xy squared z means it has an invisible coefficient of negative 1. So if we multiply negative 1 times 4, it will be negative 4. Then multiplying the variables, let's start with x. So x times x, it's x squared. For the y, we have y squared times y, it's y cubed. And for the z, we have z times z squared, it's c cubed. Next, let's simplify the second term. So let's multiply the coefficient. So we have negative times negative or negative 1 times negative 1. It will be positive 1. Or if it's in algebra, no need to write the coefficient of 1. Then we can proceed to the multiplication of the variables. So let's start with x. x times x, it's x cubed. Then y squared times y, it's y cubed. Finally, z times z, it's z squared. So therefore, this is the final answer. Now as a practice, you can try solving these problems and just comment your answers.